When it comes to power, Hashirama Senju seems to be out of everyone's league. He is the user of a lot of interesting and mysterious powers, and today I want to talk about him, explain why he seems to be the only one with wood release and what type of sage mode he uses. But before starting, I want to ask you all to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. I hope you all have a great day. Now let's start the video. Well, Hashirama Senju was a member of the famed Senju clan. He himself was hailed as the god of shinobi for his unmatched ninja prowess. Hashirama sought peace for the shinobi world and to that end founded Konohagakure with his clan, his childhood friend and rival, Madara Uchiha and the Uchiha clan. He would later become the first Hokage of Konohagakure. Although he was not able to achieve peace during his lifetime, his legacy and vision for the world would continue to shape the village and the entire shinobi world even after his death. Hashirama was famed as the strongest shinobi of his era and one of the strongest in history reputed as a god of shinobi. Madara, another legendary shinobi, openly admitted inferiority to Hashirama throughout their entire lifetime together, even with the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan and the nine tails at his disposal. Through his unique powers, Hashirama has been able to subdue and capture eight of the nine free-roaming tailed beasts on his own. During the Fourth Shinobi World War, Kabuto proclaimed that the man's might as a ninja was so vast that it was held in a fantasy light similar to the Sage of Six Paths, stating that no one aside from Madara had come close to matching him ever since his passing. The most unique power of Hashirama Senju was without a doubt wood release. This ability was apparently exclusive to him as no one else has naturally acquired this power. Any replications are noticeably pale in comparison to Hashirama's capabilities. Just compare Yamato's wood clone to Hashirama's. Yamato's version looks like Pinocchio while Hashirama's looks like a real person. This nature transformation gave him terrifying power. He could make flowering trees whose pollen rendered opponents unconscious, protective structures able to withstand tailed beast balls, giant hands to apprehend large targets, as well as a giant humanoid creature able to clash with Madara's complete body Sasano. Hashirama's wood release also granted him a method of subduing and controlling the tailed beasts. By making direct hand contact or channeling it through his wood release, Hashirama could use the Hokage-style 60-year-old technique, Kaguan entering society with bliss bringing hands to put the beast to sleep. He acquired several tailed beasts in this way, and was able to maintain control over all of them at the same time. Likewise, he could create wood dragons to wrap around any targets and absorb their chakra. It was by this power that he earned fame as one of the few people who could completely control the tailed beasts. But still, how did he gain this power and why is Hashirama Senju the only one with wood release? Well, the truth is that Hashirama was not the only one with it. He was just the most prolific one in recent history. Ninja history is very long, more than a thousand years old, and the story we got only covers the first roughly 80 plus years which was Hagoromo's lifespan and the last 80 years of it. We know that Wood Release is a Keke Genkai, and they don't manifest often in a clan. Let's take Kaguya's clan as an example. Kimimaro was the only one with that Keke Genkai from his clan. The second data book clearly states that only a mere fraction of the Uchiha clan members have activated the Sharingan. Also, the first Naruto data book states that it's not always true that Keke Genkai is equally inherited by everyone, even if they have the same inherited blood, which I think confirms that Keke Genkai sometimes skip generations and would release is most likely the same case. Although we know that Hashirama Senju is from the Senju clan, this clan has the moniker of Thousand Hands of the Forest. It is likely that this clan is known for producing wood release users, no matter how rare. I think it is like the Yuki clan that Haku is from. In Naruto Part 1, when Hashirama Senju was revived by Orochimaru against Hiruzen, he used one technique, Nativity of a World of Trees, which in the first Naruto data book is classified as a forbidden technique of the Senju clan and not as a Keke Genkai, which means that Hashirama Senju had learned that technique from somewhere, most likely from the scrolls of previous Mokutone users in his clan. Also, the interesting thing is that Kaguya's descendants occasionally manifest her and the God Tree's abilities. For example, Kushina had the adamantine sealing chains, which was used to seal bijus, the Ghetto Mazo had the same ability. The God Tree used a wood release-like ability to seal people into cocoons and collect their chakra. 
Hashirama has wood release and uses similar power when he suppresses tailed beasts. Obito's Kamui is like Kaguya's dimension portal technique, Kimimaro's bone ability is a weaker version of Kaguya's all-killing bones, and etc etc. A lot of people think that the reason why Hashirama is the only wood release user in the series is connected to him being the reincarnation of Ashura Otsutsuki. Hashirama's vitality and Keke Genkai are two different things. His vitality is a result of Ashura's cultivated Yang chakra within him. His wood release is a result of his specific lineage or bloodline. For example, Yamato has his Keke Genkai but doesn't possess the vitality that Hashirama had. Yamato grew tired after creating just a couple of houses and struggled to restrict the Kyuubi in Naruto. But after Hashirama appeared in the series, we saw the true power of wood release. Hagoromo shut down any further discussion on previous reincarnates when Naruto asked and simply mentioned Madara and Hashirama as the previous cycle, so we don't know what abilities previous incarnations had. Ajura himself did not appear to have a Mokuton. In the anime, he was shown summoning a giant Buddha statue, but it was filler and not canon. Ashura being the user of wood release is not mentioned anywhere in the manga nor in the data book. If Hashirama intended wood release from Ashura, then Naruto would also have it. However, as we learn, this was not the case. Naruto is not a Senju. Even if he was, he is considered as a dud, since despite his lineage, he did not inherit any of his parents' excellence. Hagoromo told him this quite directly. He did not have the Uzumaki life force that would allow him to survive his biju being extracted. His heart had stopped beating, which means he was clinically dead. Even if he had wood release genes, he would not activate them. I hope this was enough information about wood release. Now let's talk about another interesting and mysterious thing about Hashirama's powers, which is his Sage Mode. Because of his large chakra reserves, Hashirama could use Senjutsu and enter Sage Mode, a feat he could perform instantaneously. In this mode, he gains red markings, black in the anime, around and under his eyes, as well as in the middle of his forehead. Hashirama proved formidable in its usage, riding about on his wood techniques as a means to be mobile in battle while maintaining the stillness of oneself needed to continue building up natural energy to keep this mode activated. Hashirama could perform powerful seals to bind targets, even those as large as the ten tails. The power of Sage Mode would also greatly augment his wood release, causing his constructs to become considerably larger and more dangerous, as seen with his largest creation, the Sage Art Wood Release, true several thousand hands. It's been years since we saw Hashirama using this mode, but despite that, we still don't know its origin and where he learned it. A lot of people think that Hashirama learned Sage Mode in Shikotsu Forest since it is the only Sage area we have yet to see introduced officially. Also, Hashirama's amazing healing ability looks like Tsunade's when she is in her Byakugo Mode, who is a summoner of slugs among others. Another theory that a lot of people have about Hashirama's Sage Mode is that he made it by himself. When it comes to power, Hashirama seems to be a special case. He is a reincarnation of Ashura Otsutsuki, and a lot of people think that since wood release is a very rare and special kind of Keke Genkai, one that produces woods and plants, the user's chakra is literally converted into a source of life, and somehow Hashirama managed to create nature chakra and developed wood release from that. From there, he made himself a constantly ready vessel for the full brunt of nature energy. Hashirama didn't make a contract with anyone and no one taught him how to gather nature chakra or how to balance it. He just did it all on his own because he could. Hashirama's sage mode is himself. He is nature chakra, the living embodiment of the will of life, the will of chakra to create and sustain. Well, while both of these theories make some sense, I still strongly disagree with them. I think Hashirama did not learn it by himself or from slugs, but from monkeys. So we know that Sage Mode users share some characteristics from their summoning animals. That's the reason why Minato and Naruto had toad-like eyes, Jiraiya shared numerous toad characteristics, Kabuto looked like a snake himself, etc. And when we blur our eyesight a little and look at Hashirama in his Sage Mode, he looks like a monkey. His eyes are the same as Enma's during Sage Mode, just like how Naruto's eyes are like the Toad Sage, and Kabuto's eyes are like a snake's eyes. Also, we know that Enma was a summoning of Hiruzen Sarutobi, who was a student of Hashirama and Tobirama. I don't think it's far-fetched to think that Hiruzen learned summoning Enma from Hashirama. Also, Hashirama's main jutsu is wood. He makes trees, and the most fitting animal with that jutsu is a monkey. 
You may argue that the only way of learning Sage Mode is from Sage Animals and something like Dog Sage Mode does not exist. However, when it comes to monkeys, things are a little different. Toads, snakes, and slugs aren't the only sage animals in Naruto. In Naruto Chapter 568, Son Goku, the Four Tails, is said to be the king of sage monkeys. In the same chapter, Son Goku says, I am the handsome monkey king of the water screen cave, the king of the sage monkeys bestowed with the Dharma name of Sun by the Sage of Six Paths. I am Son Goku, the great sage equaling heaven. So, we can see that sage monkeys in Naruto exist and they reside in the Screen Cave, also known as Suirendo, and Son Goku seems to be the ruler and king of them, similar to how the Great Sage was for Toads. Anyway, I guess this is all for today. What do you think about Hashirama Senju? Why is he the only one with wood release and what type of sage mode does he use? Let me know in the comments, like this video, and subscribe to this channel for more. I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Astrojack out. Bye.